So I just finished with my YouTube training for a marketing team. The team loved it. Yeah, she thought she could do anything. Thought she could get anywhere. Confident she's number one. And if not, then everybody's wrong. Used to be calm. Now I can't remember how I used to do it. That I was a member of Confidence Club. Cause that don't last forever. What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. It's a new day. Your girl's going to the gym. Gym time. So I'm headed out. And today I'm wearing my cute white bag. Ow. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, let's do it. It's, it's 7.50. We have to be there at 8 a.m. You know, I'm a little bit late, girly, but we're still gonna do it. So let's go. You should have brought it out while you're there. Yeah, I made it to the gym. <laughs> okay, we're way in. I can do 120. I can do 120. Because even it's still going up in there. You might be more than 120. I can do a solid 120. Okay. So, Jay. 120. Is this for 120? Good 120. Healthy 120. Okay. We gotta get that. She better go to the car. It's gonna come over there. That's why I'm like, I don't know if training is gonna make the legs. He ain't gonna make the legs. I keep telling you. I'm telling you, it's gonna make the legs. I'm telling you. You hey. Okay, look, but look, my arms already. I ain't gonna lie, you got a little different. Yeah, the arms, don't I never had the a arms. problem with the arms. Hey, it was always the legs. The legs don't want to catch up. You gotta be in 2300 calories. Oh, that's great. This is just, this is this you. Like, this is with your weight, with your age, how much you work out a week, you wanna be at 2300 calories. Now, this is to maintain. So, 2200 calories? This is 2300, just to stay where you at right now. Oh, that's just that's to stay just where I'm at. That's just to stay where you at. I don't even know if I'm here. Probably not. That's just okay. to maintain your 120. If you want to gain weight, put on muscle, you gotta go in the circle. They gotta eat 500 calories more. So I want you at 2700, 2800 calories a day. How you gain weight and build muscle and get. That's how he you want me to eat food. more, y'all. You gotta eat more. That's what we gotta do. That's our main mission right now is to eat more. If we eat more, this gym shit ain't gonna mean nothing. Gotta get our nutrition right. Gotta eat more. And that's what we doing. So you heard it here, your boy Celia. She gotta eat. <laughs> We're gonna get it together, y'all. I have to up what I'm eating. I have to come to the gym three days a week. And then I also still like my little Pilates classes. Ooh, my legs, y'all. Oh my God. Wait, now I'm about to limp. Oh, oh my. I ain't even think we did that much. Dang. Ooh, ooh. Hold on, let me get to the car. Mm -mm. This is a new building that just opened up two weeks ago. So let's get the first look at this new building in Midtown. Let's go. So we have a few different floor plans that are open. We're getting the first look. Let's head in here. So right now my coworker is out there discussing corporate leases. This building does not, as of right now, have a corporate lease option. Um, but shower i love the marble in the shower it does have a tub you know okay let me just show you out here it is floor to ceiling windows these windows are halfway not too bad this one has a nice hallway into the living space <laughs> shelves that you're able to put some decor on that i really like it even has a desk area so a chair can go right here so that is the hallway to the right we have the first bedroom with the closet Bathroom. Now the fan does come on with the light. I don't know exactly how I feel about that. Mm. And this is how the desk area looks coming out of here. Let's see what the actual living space looks like. Okay, I like this layout more. It's bigger in size. I'm like in the kitchen now. 
These islands are a tan granite. Let's flip around so you can see the kitchen. Have the city view because we are in Midtown. See that traffic going on right here? This is all traffic, traffic. But let me flip around. This is what this unit kitchen looks like. You get a nice city building vibe for the ceiling unit situation going on. Sorry about the smoke detector. This bedroom is bigger in this Q layout. The first one that I walked into was the O layout. I do like this space and I do like that this way that it's facing. So depending on what side of the building you're on, you're gonna get a different view. So I do like this view. Let's look at the closet space here. You do get a bit of a more walk-in closet. Let's see. What do we think? Is this a big enough closet? Hmm, stuff up there. These closets, I'm just gonna say, are a little bit small. They're a little bit small, but that just may be what is going to come with with you living in Midtown, living in a more city vibe. The square footage on the unit a bit smaller. I don't know if I like the fact that I can see this though. The that city view, like the side of the city views. Um, we do. We got two bedrooms in the house. You are low enough that it is a deck down here. But as long as you don't look down. You still get in a bit city right there, as you guys can see. And then on this one, where the couch would go, you're getting that. That's how that would look on this side. I'm about to walk across to see what is the difference of this this view and the other view. Let's go look. <laughs> okay. This angle. And we are actually on this side looking at an actual residential building. Um, here they do have a few different kitchen styles. So the last one was the tan nude kitchen. This one has like a black granite countertop with the marble kind of backsplash. It's lighter. So that's my feelings about the two different units. <laughs> All right, guys, we're about to go into the studio. Oh, wait, just look a little. Okay, what is happening here? Okay, let's see. So, this is a studio apartment. This, I've never seen a studio like this, but this is the wardrobe. Look at that. This is the wardrobe. So from the door, on the left, washer and dryer. We don't have a problem with the lineup with the washer and dryers, everybody gets one. So to the right, this is the bathroom. Stand up shower. Like I said, in all of these, that noise. For me personally, eh, I would like that to turn it off if I want to, but if you can deal with that or you are like the fans, cool. <laughs> um, okay, so we turn this way. This is the wardrobe. This door, it's a sliding door that does shut off your bedroom from the studio, so I like that. So, almost a one bedroom. This would be your room. Um, it does have a glass box up there. Bedroom. And then when we go this way, this is your living and kitchen space. 
You can put a little table right here. Uh, you guys, it's really not that much room. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not that much space. You could, um, hmm. a sofa against that wall, maybe a eating place. The TV could come on back there. Or, we don't really have too many options. Or the bistro table, come on camera. Or the bistro table can go right on this wall, a two person table right there to eat. The sofa can go against this wall. Sofa, where's the TV gonna go? Uh, I don't know, maybe this person doesn't have a TV. Maybe this person has a projector. Maybe the projector, maybe the projector sits right here. The breakfast nook, projector, breakfast nook, the projector could project this way because like I said, at nighttime, you're gonna have to pull these blinds down anyways because you have neighbors in the sky. So the sofa could be kind of right here and you're looking at, hmm. <laughs> ah, I'm trying to make it work so bad. I'm trying to make it work. Even the, the wardrobe. It's like, is it hangers? Do I hang like this? That's what I hang. I'm trying to figure out how to make that one work right there. No big furniture. That's all I'm saying. No big furniture in this studio. But you definitely can make it work. You will be moving here to Atlanta with minimum minimal things. That's for sure. You get the cabinet space for the kitchen. It could work. Let me know in the comment section, how could this work better? How could this studio, um, bedroom, apartment work? Just peeking into the different floor plans. What is it? It's just giving like, like butler. Like, like, this is a one bedroom. Yes. Okay, we're going down to the three, you guys. They all look different. Of course, the three bed will be our favorite property. Yeah. And then 1,500 square feet, so let's look at this. Of course it's 1,500 square feet. All right, so when you walk in, oh! Beautiful. Yeah. Gorge. Yeah. <laughs> It's gorgeous. I absolutely love the washer. Oh, house. you get a whole like washer. Yeah, you get a whole. This feels like a house for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it feels like a house. Okay. Oh, that's so nice. You get some space in here. This what is, is this? Wow, this is giving house. Like this is giving. I don't know. For the price other... and. Yeah, I've never seen this before. I need. What what would we call this? What is this area? Is this this is like the bar? Is this a bar yes, area? A bar. Yeah. Wow. Like a little mini bar store situation. I don't drink y'all, but a mocktail me up, okay? Still more storage, but. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. This is cute. cute. Is that the master? This is a little small. I feel like this is the master. No, it can't be. This is not the master. You think? I don't know, I think so. Really? Oh, yeah. that might be the ma This might be the master. Master. This is the master for sure. This is the master bathroom. Pretty big. I think this closet is pretty big. This closet is, yeah, it's a full walk-in. It's a full walk-in, <laughs> for sure. And then we have the bedroom the is well, a little tiny, you know. For the price point, you guys, I don't know. Very beautiful building, for sure. Even the amenity spaces, I think that would be able to go. It's raining right now, but very beautiful, beautiful building. 
and just each unit is going to have a different view. So, nice midtown views, I must say. Large. Let's go check out these other two, these other two um, rooms. It's just kind of like these rooms are small for a bed. Once you get a bed in here, it's a wrap. That's all I can kind of go in there. Come get ready with me. Today I am training a marketing team on how to scale their clients' YouTube channels. I'm super excited, so I'm about to do my makeup. It's 12.30, it starts in an hour and a half. I did get some Popeyes dropped off for lunch, cause girl. So I'm about to like eat some lunch really quick, jump into my makeup, and then I'm gonna be sitting at my desk waiting for the team training to start. I have a few more slides that I just wanna include in. I think right now I'm at almost 50 slides that I've created for the training. Ooh, I needed this. Mm. Got some mashed potatoes. See what we got in our chicken box. Got a little four piece chicken, a little biscuit. Okay. Mmm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys. So, an hour and 20 minutes into showtime. Let's go ahead and do this makeup. So, we look beautiful for the team that we're training today. This is like the perfect match for me. Play music. Here's a mix for you on Amazon Music. <laughs> We are now done with our glam and I took down our hair. We're looking good. Let's figure out what blazer we're gonna wear. Let's go to the closet. Let's go. All right, inside my closet we are. Mm, I have all my blazers on this side. What do you think we should do? This one's cute. Let's look orange. My presentation is a yellow and this color. So I don't have to like match the presentation, do I? Um, we do pink. What do we do? I feel like I want to go with this. This one, just because it has the arm things. But um, 
Let's see. I'm going to put on something. All right, guys. I actually decided to go with pretty and pink. Cute, pretty pink dress. So this is me. Done getting ready. I'm about to set up my laptop so that I can, you know, edit the presentation, go over the presentation for 45 minutes, and then it is go time. Woo, so I'm gonna just head over to the office. It's a little messy, don't mind. I guess while we're waiting for a few more people to jump on, um, can you just tell me like what you guys do within marketing, how much you do know about YouTube? All right, let's not all go at once. Um, I'm a social media manager, so I my experience with YouTube has mostly either been I'm doing the uploading process, but someone is usually either writing like the SEO heavy description or I'm doing like shorts posting. Um, yeah. Hey Jayla, um, I work in Division Two um, of Rare Brands and Necessity. That is CMO agency and um, Duffy Podcast Agency. I am currently the project manager of that division. And, and baby, I don't know nothing about YouTube, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am the marketing project manager over at the Millionaire Mark University. Um, so I work hand in hand with more so expanding our program um, and like the tech side of the company. So landing pages, funnels, things of that nature. Um, before I was handling doing the uploading for the podcast on YouTube and Red Circle. So I did have to learn a bit about YouTube, but I definitely think that there's area of improvement for us, especially with our clients. Recording in progress. Okay, this is gonna be our training on how to scale on YouTube. And it just depends on the channel, whether the channel is making that income in the ad revenue or whether that channel is making that income with partnerships that they're going into. Um, and every channel is different. On this channel, I'm able to put more ads in the videos, meaning that I have a higher CPM, meaning I have higher watch time, meaning that the channel is producing more. So I want to get into those keyword ranks and then as far as video tags, this always changed. Every video I upload is always gonna be different. So this is one of my mentees. I just wanted to show you guys like what, a, what I'm looking for in a YouTube channel to really scale them. All right guys, so I just finished with my YouTube training for a marketing team. The team loved it. And now I'm about to film a piece of content for my beauty channel. Um, my mom sent me a gift, so I want to unbox it on my beauty and fashion channel, and this gift means a lot to me. My mom is not into designer things or spending a lot on fashion, but she got me this gift, and oh my god, so I'm about to unbox it. Ooh. Versace, Versace. Oh my god! So pretty! Mom, thank you! It's pink and then she got my name on it in gold. What? It's so beautiful. Y'all, I have not even wanted to wear it. It's light pink. I would never do my makeup with it on. This is my walking around the house cute robe. I love it so much. It is so cute. Oh my God, I love the pink. I'm a pink girl. Let me know in the comment section, are you a pink girl? Do you see why I don't and wouldn't do my makeup in this? Like it's too cute. I've just had it hanging in my closet cause I'm like, I don't want to mess it up. But it's so cute. Let me show you the back. Move my hair. Okay, Miss Coria. Miss Corian, so freaking cute. All right, guys, I got booked as a model for a photo shoot today. I'm in makeup. I'm gonna do a soft beat, so let's go.
We are wrapping up makeup with this beat right here. Beat down, baby. <laughs> brows, full fluffy brows. And this is a no eyeshadow look. So we are ready for our shoot. We're about to head there now. Let's go. Hi guys, we are on set. I'm super excited. We're shooting this cozy loungewear today. Love the color. I'm shooting with my favorite. Trey shot me. He's like figuring out the angles and stuff in the mirrors. Ooh. Yeah. We're plotting on profit. Okay. Prez Luciano. You know who it is, man. Plotting on profit. Pretty girls love profit, baby. Let's get it. Wasting my time. I don't know why I can't get you out my mind. Yeah. So lost, where do I go? I was the chase, caught a flat on road. It was all love, X no O. I was feeling rich, but we turned out wrong. I let my feelings take control. Guess I let my demons take the wheel. Used to think that we be grown. I can't believe that it was real. It was back in late December when I did it. I just wish I could forget. Cause I had much I love it all. I hate how I just love to catch a feel. Yeah. I've been wasting my time. I don't know why I can't get you out of my mind.